Okay, now we switch to the backhand. First, I will show you the key points of the two-handed backhand. It's important, as on the forehand, to swing back very, very early with the racket. The right hand should be the backhand grip, and the left hand should be the forehand grip. Okay? So you go back very early with the racket, and then, please feed the ball. You try to swing completely through. Stop. Excellent. Okay, you see? And it's important to bring both elbows up. It's similar to the golf swing. The right leg is a little bit bended, okay? And the left leg is touching the ground, so to get the stability in the hip. And now, the next exercise is, after this, that you step out with the left, okay, after the shot, and you make two, three side steps back to the middle. As soon as in the middle, you feed the next ball, and we repeat the motion, okay? Keep the arms up, move back to the middle. Okay, excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, excellent. Okay, stop. So, one more exercise, which is very important. Please come here for the two-handed backhand to give the players a feeling to use also the right and the left arm. So, please prepare the shot. Okay, and now, he tries to play a one-handed backhand, okay? You put your left arm to the heart of the racket and you try to hit a one-handed backhand, okay? Okay, excellent. Prepare again, okay? And you hit now a forehand with your left arm, okay? With the short grip. Right hand shows to the ball. Now he takes the short grip. He doesn't change the grip of the left arm on the racket and he tries to hit the forehand with the left arm, okay? Excellent, okay. And now he makes the combination. Now he's using both hands. Okay. Start. Both hands, B hand, double handed backhand, okay. You go cross court. And you see with this exercise, the player gets a very good feeling to use also the right and the left arm. And now I will show you uh, the exercise where we repeat very fast. So that means you make a one handed backhand, immediately after you go back to the grip, bam, Hit the forehand with the left. Immediately after, you hit the double-handed backhand. Excellent. Perfect. Double-handed backhand. Perfect. So now we'll show you some points, some key points of the one-handed backhand, please. Also on the one-handed backhand, the grip is the classical backhand grip, okay? and the racket goes back very early. So, as on the forehand, as on the double-handed backhand, it's very important to prepare very early. So, that means as soon as you see that the ball is coming on the backhand, you try to prepare and you try to adapt, okay? So, racket back, a little bit... Yeah, bravo, okay, you bend your right leg, okay? First of all, it's very, very important on the, on the one-handed backhand, to swing, of course, the right arm through, but also that you make the motion back with the left arm. So when the right arm goes forward, you swing back with your left arm. And both arms are extended. Okay? The weight is on the right leg, and the left leg is touching the ground to keep the balance. Okay. Okay, now we'll show you some exercises for the slice, for the volley, and then the combination uh, with slice and volley. Okay, so we'll start with the slice. The grip on the slice is between continental grip and backhand grip. It depends, it's different from player to player. And also, if the ball is high, I can switch a little bit to the, the grip to the back end. If the ball is low, I can take a little bit more continental grip. So first exercise, you start, please. In the motion, in the, in, with the motion, your elbow is up, your left arm is up. Okay? And you start with, with, with this position. Okay? Okay, one more time. Perfect, okay. It's similar to the one-handed backhand. 
It's important that the right arm goes forward, the left arm goes back. Okay? And to try to fix the wrist. So this would be a perfect position. One more time. Make it a bit faster. Okay, you see, stop. And as well also, the weight is on the right leg. The left leg is touching the ground to keep the balance. Perfect. So now take your second racket. Uh, come a little bit forward. Okay. You start with the position. Okay. And now you go with your right arm, you make the motion, you hit the ball. With the left arm, you go back. Okay? And you stand still after. Okay? It's important that he tries, when the right arm goes forward, at completely the same time, the left arm should go back. Okay, again. Perfect. Okay, another exercise to get more power in the left arm is to make the slice with the left arm. Okay? And here the player can take a little bit more back and grip with the left, so it's a little bit easier. Okay, perfect. So now we make the exercise where you make one slice with the right arm. Up immediately after you change, okay, and you make a slice with the left. So that it gets a feeling to use both arms, okay? Excellent. Okay, perfect. So give me your second record, please. Okay. Uh, to make a little bit more stabilization of the hip, there's an exercise. Please go a little bit back. You hit the ball, and after, after hitting, you cross your left leg behind your right leg. So then we have, it's similar to the, to the forward exercise, that we have the stabilization of the left hip. Okay, start again. And also always take care that the right arm is bended, that you have something to extend, so you get the power from extending the racket. Okay? With this exercise, you have to guarantee that your left hip is more stable. Yeah. Okay? Now I will show you some borders. First exercise, you put your left arm behind your back. Okay? The grip is continental grip. Okay? Racket is far in front. And one of the most important things on the volley is to step forward at the same time when you hit. So that means hit the foil, step forward with your left leg. Hit the backhand, step forward with your right leg. Of course, the opposite when you are a left-hander. Very, very nice volley. Stop. You see? Okay, give me one forehand, please and then one backhand, and you keep the position, okay? Tap. You see, very important, racket in front, step forward, weight on the left leg, very stable in the wrist. If a player has the problem that he's a little bit unstable in the wrist, there's a very good advice to take the grip a little bit shorter, okay? So let's try it. Take it a little bit shorter, okay? Because then you have more power, okay? Let's do it. Excellent, on the back end. Okay. Our next shot is the service. So I will show you some exercises about the service motion, not going too particular into the first serve or the second serve but in general, the key points of the service motion. First of all, it's very important to check how the players are throwing the balls. Also, I give you the ball, okay, and you try to throw the ball. Okay. The motion is very similar, the throwing motion is very similar to the service motion. So if someone is throwing the ball very far, most of the times he has always very good service motion. Okay, excellent. So now you take your racket. The grip on the service is the classical continental grip. The left leg should be around 45 degrees, okay, from the baseline, and the right leg is parallel to the baseline. So we start with the right arm extended forward, the left arm is touching the racket at the heart of the racket. 
and it's important that it's, that it's a fluid, smooth motion back. So you start here and you show us one surf. The upper body a little bit more up, was already much, much better. One more time. Start in front, excellent. This was perfect. Okay. Another very, very important point of the service motion is the toss. So now you take the ball, okay? You try to toss the ball and catch it without the service motion. You can give me your racket, I take it, okay? So you start with the left thumb in front of your body, okay? You touch your left leg, you toss it and you try to catch it, okay? Perfect, one more time. If he's tossing and He's catching the ball with the open hand, then it's fine, then it's fine, okay? So now we make the combination again, you start again, you try to toss it like now, and you fix the position after the serve. Stop, excellent. This is a very fluid, smooth emotion, okay? There's one more exercise. Uh, if the player has some problems with the, with the toss, I always try to fix a little bit the position. So now you go, you go in this position, okay? Excellent, okay? And now you try to serve, okay? And you don't change the position. So if the toss is not accurate enough, the player cannot keep the position. So then automatically he gets the feedback that the toss was not good, okay? Let's try. You start in front, excellent. Okay, one more time. Then, sometimes I go behind the player because then I can see exactly where he's tossing the ball. The toss should be at around 12.30, okay? If you imagine a watch above the head, the toss should be around 12.30, okay? Perfect, you see, excellent turn. Right shoulder shows the direction where he's serving. Upper body is up, the chin is up. And one more thing what is important, to turn the upper body, okay? So you go in a normal position now, okay? You serve, and after the serve, you try to step forward with your right leg. You serve, hop, you hit, you step forward, okay? And then you stand still. This was excellent. If you want even more turning of your shoulder, of your upper body, there's an exercise, start again please, okay? Where you surf and then you make a 360 after the surf, okay? Excellent, you see here, the player has to turn his upper body. One more time. So this was our last episode, the surf. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, now it's time to go on court and to practice.